In a remarkable twist that's stirring debate across the scientific community, acclaimed physicist Dr. Michio Kaku has voiced his thoughts on a discovery that may fundamentally reshape our understanding of the cosmos. Kaku, widely recognized for his expertise in both classical physics and the more enigmatic world of quantum theory, has always been open to revolutionary insights, especially those that challenge the status quo. Recently, he turned his attention to the groundbreaking observations made by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which has identified six gigantic galaxies that appear to date back to the infancy of the universe, roughly 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. What makes these galaxies so puzzling and so exciting is their sheer size and maturity at such an early cosmic age. By prevailing astrophysical theories, the early universe was expected to be a chaotic and largely unstructured environment for hundreds of millions of years. It was assumed that galaxies began forming slowly and modestly, starting with small clusters of stars and gradually merging over billions of years into larger organized structures. But these galaxies discovered by JWST upend that idea. Each of them is not only enormous, some are even larger than our Milky Way, but also surprisingly well-formed, teeming with stars at a rate that scientists never anticipated for such an early epoch. Kaku, who has spent decades explaining the frontiers of science to both his peers and the general public, sees this moment as a turning point. He believes these findings may offer us a doorway into a completely new understanding of how the universe evolved. While many astrophysicists are still clinging to the traditional Big Bang model and its postulated timeline for galactic formation, Kaku suggests that we may need to think more boldly. He points out that these massive galaxies, dubbed universe breakers by some in the research team, may either mean that galaxies formed much more quickly than previously believed or that the universe itself is older than our current estimates suggest. Not all scientists are eager to accept such conclusions. Some skeptics argue that there could be errors in the interpretation of the JWST's data, particularly in redshift measurements, which are used to determine the distance and age of cosmic objects based on how their light stretches as the universe expands. Even small miscalculations in redshift values could lead to significant misunderstandings about when and how these galaxies formed. But Kaku is quick to remind the scientific community that clinging to outdated models out of tradition or comfort hinders progress. In his view, theoretical physics only thrives when it's grounded in experimental evidence. And right now, that evidence is pointing towards something radically new. What makes Kaku's stance so significant is not just his reputation, but his historical openness to challenging established thought. Throughout his career, he's emphasized that while Newton's laws and Einstein's theories of relativity provide powerful tools, they're not the final word on how the universe works. He's consistently argued that the deepest truths about space and time might still lie beyond our current grasp. In light of these recent observations, he suggests we may be on the verge of expanding or even replacing long-held cosmological frameworks. The implications are profound. If galaxies this massive existed so soon after the Big Bang, then either the physics of galaxy formation is drastically different from what we thought, or something is missing entirely from our cosmological narrative. Perhaps new forces or particles were at play in the early universe, accelerating the growth of cosmic structures, Maybe dark matter or dark energy behaved differently in those early times. Some even speculate whether we need to rethink the singularity model of the Big Bang itself. It's worth recalling that the very notion of a universe with a beginning, let alone one with a definable age, was once considered radical. In the OE, early 20th century, many believed the cosmos was static and eternal. It wasn't until Edwin Hubble observed that galaxies were moving away from us and at speeds proportional to their distance, that the concept of an expanding universe took hold. That observation led to the birth of modern cosmology, including the Big Bang Theory. Over time, further support came from the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation and the redshift patterns in light from distant galaxies. These pieces fit together like a cosmic puzzle, until now. The JWST's capabilities allow scientists to peer further back in time than ever before, 
capturing light from ancient stars and galaxies just beginning to shine in the early universe. But instead of confirming existing models, the telescope has unearthed anomalies, objects that seem too big, too bright, and too structured to fit the traditional narrative. These aren't just minor wrinkles in the data, they may signal a fundamental shift in our understanding of the cosmos. And as Kaku often emphasizes, scientific revolutions don't come from comfort zones. They emerge from questioning the models that no longer match what we see. The use of redshift remains central to these discussions. It's a critical tool in astronomy, describing how light stretches as galaxies recede from us. When an object moves away at high speed, its light shifts toward the red end of the spectrum. By measuring this shift, astronomers can estimate how far away the object is and, by extension, how old the light is that we're seeing. But these measurements must be extremely precise. Even small errors can lead to vastly different conclusions about the age and size of distant galaxies. With JWST's advanced infrared instruments, scientists can detect faint signals from some of the universe's earliest structures but interpreting those signals correctly remains a high-stakes challenge. Despite these uncertainties, what's clear is that we're entering a new phase of cosmic exploration. The findings from JWST, whether ultimately confirmed or not, are forcing astronomers to re-evaluate long-standing theories and approach the universe with fresh eyes. Kaku urges both professionals and the curious public to keep an open mind. Just as early astronomers had to let go of the idea that the Earth was the center of everything, we may now be asked to reconsider our beliefs about how the universe began and evolved. For anyone with a passion for science, especially those who grew up watching moon landings, reading about Einstein's theories, or marveling at Hubble's deep space images, this moment is both humbling and exhilarating. It's a reminder that the universe still holds mysteries we've yet to even imagine, and that with each new tool we build, to look deeper into the stars, we might just find our place in the cosmos isn't quite what we thought it was. If you're interested in following the progress of these discoveries and understanding what they might mean for the future of science, stay tuned. The next few years promise to be a thrilling journey into the unknown. As we stand at the edge of a potential scientific revolution, the revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope remind us that the cosmos is far more dynamic and mysterious than we ever imagined. With visionaries like Dr. Michio Kaku leading the way, we are witnessing the unfolding of discoveries that could rewrite the textbooks and inspire a new generation of thinkers, dreamers, and explorers. If you're as fascinated as we are by the mysteries of space, the evolution of the universe, and the future of science don't miss out on what's coming next. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you enjoyed this deep dive, and share it with fellow science enthusiasts. There's so much more to uncover, and we'd love to have you along for the journey. See you in the next video.